joining me tonight. Kareen Winter, correspondent for HLN's Showbiz Tonight. Also with us, Howard Samuels, uh, Samuels, a drug and alcohol addiction expert. Thank you both for being here. Howard, um, that Thanks. quote, I'm my best friend, I'm my worst enemy, an acknowledgement at one point that she knew she had a, had a problem. Um, from, from her perspective, being who she is, does it make it easier or more difficult to, to beat those demons if you are someone of the stature of Whitney Houston versus, you know, just a average person who's battling those same demons? Well, you know, Vinny, I, I must say, I don't really think, you know, an addict is an addict. I mean, Whitney Houston has a huge history of being a hardcore addict, whether it's crack, cocaine, alcohol, pills. She's been in numerous rehabs. I mean, she was an addict. And, you know, for her to be drinking and for her to be having Xanax and Valium, she was involved in active addiction. Now, whether it's harder for her to stay sober, let me explain, is that if you really want to get loaded, nothing is going to stop you. And somebody like Whitney Houston, who is going to surround herself with people that will enable that addiction, which is she's got, she's drinking and she's got the pills, she pays these people in order to enable her. And she is the one who is responsible for her addiction, and unfortunately, she's responsible for her death, which is tragic. And a again, uh, waiting for the toxicology results for the cause of death from the coroner. That, that has not come out yet. Howard Samuels, a couple things. Um, all right, this is someone who's been in rehab. This is someone who is an addict, has admitted that, and, and taking Xanax. Uh, prescription meds. What what are the, the are the pitfalls obvious? I mean, can can an addict take prescribed medicine? Can an addict drink socially at night? Uh, absolutely not. And and this is what is a, a, a really you know thing that has to be cleared up. Once an addict, always an addict. And I say that because I'm an addict. I'm a recovering addict. And I used to be a heroin addict. I used to be a cocaine addict. And, you know, I don't take Xanax. Xanax is an addictive drug. Valium is an addictive drug. Alcohol is a depressant. Is that Whitney Houston, because she has such a history, she cannot drink and she cannot take pills. I can't, no recovering addicts, alcoholics can. And as a result, that's why to me, this is very, very simple. One in one is two, is that, you know, plus she was drinking when she was on the pills. I mean, they found that when the police went into the hotel room, they found the empty champagne bottle. Now, please, you mix alcohol with benzos like Xanax and Valium equals death. It is a dangerous combination. So, you know, all this, you know, doubt about, you know, Whitney and where she was really at, it's sad, but unfortunately it is true, you know, and that's what people really have to realize here. And it's not just Whitney Houston, there is an epidemic in this country with prescription drugs. People don't want to buy the heroin or the cocaine on the street anymore, so they're going to their local feel-good doctor to get the drugs. Howard Samuels, Ken Baker, Kareen Winter, thank you all so much. And again, we're waiting for those toxicology results in the coroner to give us the official cause of death for Whitney Houston.